I recently read the book Eat That Frog by author Brian Tracy. Do you routinely distract yourself with easy tasks as a way to avoid doing harder far more important tasks? Do I find yourself cleaning the house organizing files running errands or replying to every unread message in your inbox after you really should be specializing in something more important although many of the small activities that you just just do during the day may appear productive they're not the best use of it slow at that moment what you really should be doing is eating that frog Brian Tracy says your frog is your biggest most important task the one you're presumably to procrastinate on if you are doing not do something about it it's also the one task that will have the most effective impact on your life at the moment we all get distracted by the small and significant but easy to digest tadpoles swimming around our pond of potential things to do and lose sight of the frogs so let me show you the things to get hold of your biggest frog and the and eat that frog the first step defining your biggest frog is considering the implications of doing nothing gather a list of everything you could do should do or should do now imagine doing nothing on that list for an entire week imagine you went for a long drive across the country without a phone or a computer what are the long-term consequences of doing nothing on that list which of these unfinished tasks may possibly be fatal to your role within your company Brian Tracy explains that we all tackle roles in our professional lives and other people roles need key results to survive and thrive Brian says the key result areas of management are planning organizing staffing delegating supervising measuring and reporting these are the areas within which a manager must get results to realize his or her area of responsibility a weakness in anybody of these areas can lead to underachievement and failure as a manager as in somebody my key result areas were collecting data from the event site Verifying engineering calcul, actions producing engineering design drawings developing construction checklists and conducting design review meetings An absence of results in any of these key result areas would have held me back from receiving promotions and getting more opportunities during this role A complete failure to perform in anybody of these key result areas would have quickly led to my termination as an electrical engineer within the company A key result area is analogous to a major organ within the figure rather like the gut or the brain if these organs stop functioning the entire body stops functioning and you die to return keep a copy with an inventory of key result areas in your current professional role consider the reasons why you're on the payroll or why you've customers that keep you in business what key results are essential to keeping you on the payroll or keeping your business open after you've come up with an inventory of key results in your current professional role relive at that to-do list and task by task visualize the long-term consequences of not doing a task for an entire week. Tasks that have a major impact on your key result areas when you think about the long-term consequences of not doing something. You'll see that not doing too many items on your list will be inconvenient but not fatal. You might annoy someone with not responding to an email or missing out on their meeting but it does not have a significant impact on your key result areas and it will not lead to the death of your professional role. It is like removing the appendix or wisdom teeth from the body. These are non-essential parts of the body that you can surgically remove from your body and stay alive. It will be painful and it may be you have a scar but you will survive any task that does not significantly affect the long-term health of your current role is the tadpole and not the frog so the first step to finding your biggest frog requires you to ask yourself what are the long-term consequences of not doing this my key findings and is it vital to my current professional role is the second step to finding your biggest frog thinks about doing one thing all day from the things i've identified to have long-term consequences for my results areas what is the task you can do throughout the day that will contribute the most value to your company brian tracy says that if you ask yourself this question three times the three tasks that you reach will be 90 percent of the contribution you can make to your company he says, Brian Tracy, perhaps the most important word in the world of work is contribution. Your financial and emotional rewards will always be in direct proportion to your results with the value of your contribution. So if you want to find your biggest frog, ask yourself if I can only do one thing all day, what is the only thing I can do that will contribute the most value to my company? Replace the company with the client if you work independently or replace the word company with readers if you are a blogger or author at this point if you are still unable to make the decision between two or three frogs, simply focus on the one frog you have avoided eating too much.
Brian Tracy says that eating the biggest and ugliest frog before anything else does the worst first by doing the worst first, you'll get a great sense of comfort and satisfaction when you're done will save you the confidence you need to eat more frog, and now that you have found the largest and ugliest frog, how to eat that frog, the best way to eat a large, ugly frog is to focus only on the next bite and remind yourself of the last bite I'm doing by focusing only on a small part of the task that is I can complete it in the next 10 minutes, I ask myself what initial result can I achieve in the next 10 minutes to move in the right direction whenever I feel particularly exhausted, I just remind myself of the last bite I took from this frog or any other frog that reminds me of the recent success gives me confidence to take the next bite. So it's time to start letting those frogs swim, and start focusing on eating your frog by finding your biggest frog and then eating the frog. You will maximize your work time so that you have more time to spend with the people you care about most doing the things you love to do the most. A frog on your shoulder The main message I am collecting from eating that frog is written by Brian Tracy. It's a great book on personal productivity I recommend. Thanks for